Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it's going to be my Air Tycoon 4 series. Now uh, last time I remember that we were setting up a, a bunch of fruits over the DC-8. I managed to uh, nearly top 80 million in profit which is really good. And uh, yeah, uh, if you saw the uh, last episode, uh, the uh, the DC-862 came out which I said was going to be a major part of... Uh, oh no, not that one. It was going to be a major part of my uh, long haul services, uh, so uh, yeah. And DCA is now on the market. Uh, I think I did say about that that it was uh, taking its first flight or something uh, quite a while ago. <laughs> and then, yeah, I just uh, completely forgot about it and it just suddenly uh, popped up then. And is it anywhere back here? Uh, no, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, August 1963. So, yeah, that would have been. Part 5, maybe? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, we will just be uh, setting up. Uh, uh, more of the, uh, uh, I don't know whether we'll set up Bruce, we definitely will be uh, replacing a bunch of DC-8s and uh, I th I can't remember how many we have on the long haul network, but it's all uh, a yeah, pretty uh, large amount there, yeah, but <laughs> well, um, I don't know, to be honest there isn't really m that many and in fact I think all of them are from New York to be honest, they're just these, what's that, there's, what's that, there's seven routes, yeah I think it might just be those seven routes, so uh, yeah, I don't think we go anywhere else because Hawaii is part of America, and uh, yeah, we go to Seattle, so... <laughs> yeah, oh, I guess, um... Yeah, the the only route that's not going in, that's not in America is going through Toronto um, and Mexico City, and the rest of them, <laughs> uh, yeah, are, are long-haul routes, so... Uh, yeah, which are going to different countries, so... Uh, yeah, we have seven of them. Uh, last episode, I did get a bunch of uh, money, as I said, uh, just to uh, get this, so we will need uh, seven. Uh, so uh, let's see how many uh, we can get. So we've got the DC-862, 62, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, how many uh, passengers is it compared to the other one? Uh, it's got a lot more range and it's got 10 more passengers. It's uh, slightly faster as well. A bit of satisfaction and it's, uh, yeah, not too much more uh, than the other DC-811 is. So let me just get this if the game loads. <laughs> That's fine. The engines actually look a lot better now instead of just the way they were well before. Uh, yeah, just checking. Yeah, those are around 52 inches. Those are around 32. Yep. My standard uh, airline seating, uh, so uh, yeah, we will have a uh, 143 passengers uh, on here. So uh, yeah, how many can I get? Uh, four, five, six. Oh, what's that? I can only get I can only get five. Which uh, yeah, I mean we can we <laughs> we'll probably be able to phase out the other ones at the end of um and by the end of this episode, I just think uh, so yeah, that's just uh, the ones that we can order for now. And uh, yeah, they are quite cheaper uh, than I thought that they would be. So uh, yeah, we can uh, be able uh, to. I uh, guess all these, so probably around about 1968, I will have to stop ordering planes and buying planes and things like that uh, because, uh, yeah, I want to be able to build up a bunch of cash so I can get planes like the 747 and, and the DC-10. The DC-10 will be widely used and the 747 will be as well. Uh, but to be honest, uh, I will, yeah, the DC-10 will be used more than 747. The 747 will be used on routes more like New York to London, uh, which, uh, yeah, there are, there's a re it's really high satisfaction in both places. Uh, but yeah, like going to uh, Copenhagen, for example, that will be with the DC-10. I think uh, Amsterdam, uh, probably just about uh, the, uh, uh, the 747 and uh, Frankfurt as well. But um, yeah, there will be, uh, well, I'll definitely be setting up more routes uh, with uh, the DC-10. Uh, which will, uh, yeah, help uh, expand our airline, and uh, yeah, we can go to uh, places like um, like Barcelona, and we can go to where else can we go to? We can go to things like uh, Milan, and uh, yeah, Saint Petersburg, and uh, Moscow, and just uh, all sorts of places like that. In fact, Moscow could be a seven four seven territory, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I sort of class them, I roughly class them. I don't really have a set way of doing it. So, uh, yeah, are those are those planes ordered. Uh, and if I just go to this next turn, I might be able to order some more. But uh, yeah. And we will uh, put uh, the uh, the others, uh, all the ones we've already ordered uh, on uh, our network. Yeah, we should uh, we should have plenty uh, to uh, buy uh, the uh, the rest of these aircraft. So uh, yeah, these are the ones just phasing out. Um, I sh uh, I should think I might be able to set up a couple of routes uh, with these. Uh, so yeah, these ones I don't know if they will enable me uh, enable me sorry uh, to actually reach um, uh, Asia from uh, Los Angeles uh, because uh, yeah I don't know whether to do that yet or not. I'm not too sure whether to do it uh, until, uh, yeah, I actually, um, uh, yeah, like get things like the Simple Southern Doozy Turn, which have a lot more range and uh, passengers. And so, uh, yeah, I'll just have to figure that out, but, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, I'll leave it for now. So, uh, yeah, the first one we'll do is uh, New York to London. Uh, yeah, a very, very uh, profitable route 
uh, in this game. So I'm yeah, currently using the DC8 as 11, and we'll upgrade to the DC862. That's what's that? That is a. That's only increased by how many passages it increased by? Um, that's a 36 and 43. So that's increased by um, eight passengers or nine passengers. No, was it? What? Six? Hang on. <laughs> can't comprehend this. We've got three there, but yeah, seven. <laughs> I can't count, so uh, yeah. And that's the DC-62. Uh, looks uh, pretty, pretty good. And this game uh, in my uh, striking livery. Uh, so uh, yeah, we'll just uh, come off of here. And yeah, I'll do that. Uh, so uh, yeah, like I said, I will be um, I uh, just uh, will be uh, replacing all of my um, uh, long haul DC-8s with these. Uh, oh, DC-8, uh, 11, sorry. Uh, I thought that I might actually do more. Uh, d uh, uh, yeah, I thought I'd do more uh, DC8 um, uh, DC8 uh, routes, uh, long haul routes uh, than I than I have already. <laughs> I think I've been focusing more on uh, sort of the um, uh, the more uh, yeah uh, sort of a uh, uh, domestic uh, side of, of things, which uh, yeah can be quite profitable. Uh, so yeah, I've got like the 727 and things like that going. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's taken up my priority a bit. And oh uh, whoa, I don't want cargo. Uh, yeah, if you didn't know, I will not actually be doing cargo in, in this airline. Uh, to be, uh, for me, it's just uh, it's just a lot more hassle, and you can still make tons and tons of cash uh, from just uh, doing passenger services. And oh, here's our first route where we where we will uh, yeah have to upgrade uh, the amount of slots we have on this route, so uh, yeah we'll be able to get uh, more uh, uh, schedules a week, uh, meaning uh, more passengers, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, so uh, yeah, we'll upgrade that to eight. Uh, yeah, I uh, I'll have to check on the other ones, make sure I didn't uh, skip past them because uh, yeah I was going on there quite quickly. So yeah, we just got this last one. I go in here. Uh, so uh, yeah, the uh, the thing that will really push us into profitability, like I said, is the DC10 and uh, the uh, the 747, uh, and they will really push us into profitability. And uh, yeah, the DCA. Uh, in fact, actually, I haven't uh, got. <laughs> that was my last DCA62. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually. Um, yeah, I won't actually be um, using uh, yeah the um, uh, the DC8 uh, afterwards on um, this route. And uh, why am I making less money? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I won't actually be using uh, the DC-8 after this, uh, this uh, DC-10 upgrade uh, that I'll be doing, I don't think. Uh, yeah, once uh, once that comes in, uh, yeah, then I won't be uh, needing to, to use it anymore. It'll be a lot more profitable. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I think that I won't, uh, I won't use that, but I could, um, uh, yeah, uh, carry on uh, a lot. <laughs> well, I, I was using the DC-10 uh, for, uh, yeah, and quite a while. Oh, there's a World Cup in uh, London. <laughs> Might uh, be the time to set up a second hat, but uh, yeah, I'm actually going to do so. I'll just uh, replace the rest of these. Uh, but yeah, in fact, uh, did the did it say the DC9 just came on the market? Let me just have a quick little look. Uh, oh yes, it has. So yeah, this is what I was saying uh, last episode, uh, which, uh, which is the reason why I'm not going to use this because it has no business, uh, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, even if even though there are bigger versions, this one only seats 90, 90 passengers. Uh, there are bigger versions. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually going to be using uh, this because uh, uh, yeah, this is not have business. Uh, I'll be using the 737, which in fact doesn't come out uh, uh, in uh, too much uh, longer uh, time. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I will be uh, replacing a uh, sort of the uh, yeah. Well, uh, I, in fact, I don't think I will be replacing the 737 with it. Uh, I'll just be uh, yes, uh, using it to set up routes uh, to places like uh, I don't know, like Halifax. Uh, yeah, where there's only uh, about a hundred uh, business and tour. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, a lot more uh, profitable to do that. So uh, yeah, uh, right. Where are the last uh, ones? Uh, the last CCH that I need to uh, phase out. Now, if I just have a look at my uh, DC11, I have 30 in service now. <laughs> wow. All uh, right. Let me just have a look at these. Uh, Detroit, Denver, Honolulu, Charlotte, Washington, Philadelphia. I'm just looking for somewhere uh, other than America. Uh, uh -huh, it's uh, Madrid and uh, Copenhagen. By the looks of it. So uh, yeah, let's just uh, go do that. Uh, so uh, first I'll just do uh, do Copenhagen. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, once uh, yeah, like I said, once once uh, yeah, the DC uh, uh, the DC ten comes. Sorry, and I think it's in the nineteen seventy nineteen seventy one. It's uh, I know it's slightly after the seven four seven. Uh, yeah, once that comes in, all the DCs will go. Uh, yeah, so uh, the uh, so uh, yeah, I will be using the two different variants. Uh, the longer haul one, uh, the one for the longer haul services, I'll be using the DC ten thirty, and for the uh, domestic service, I'll be using the DC ten ten. Yeah, you know, the domestic services, uh, you yeah, know, don't need uh, that extra range, and uh, yeah, it uh, costs a little bit more fuel to do that. So, uh, so yeah, just uh, better to use uh, the um, uh, the uh, the shorter haul variant. So, uh, yeah, I guess I could just sell these off. I don't know whether I'm going to be setting up more routes. In fact, I will be setting up more routes with them, won't I? 
Oh yeah, I'm probably going to do it now, I might do it offline. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking about maybe, uh, yeah, actually, uh, using, uh, uh, or uh, purchasing uh, some more DC-8 uh, 62s, uh, and uh, yeah, being able uh, to um, get a bunch more money. Why am I going down in profitability? Let's have a little investigation of this. <laughs> Let me just compare the two planes again. And see if there's uh, some sort of cost which has been bumped up hugely, uh, which uh, yeah could uh, be uh, detriment uh, detrimental to this. So uh, yeah, um, oh no, you know what it is? <coughs> I've just realised what it is. It's just uh, yeah, passengers going down. I think, but yeah, let's just have a look. Uh, anyway, uh, also one thing with the DC8 in uh, the, um, the DC, the DC10 and the 747 is that uh, yeah they're going to add first class passengers, uh, which yeah will be really really helpful because uh, yeah uh, uh, another um, a set of uh, passengers which you can transport. So uh, what's we'll that? It goes slightly faster, doesn't burn much more fuel, and that's essentially what it is. <laughs> DC11 6.0, and then the DC62 is 6.1. Wow, that's not very much more. And yeah, I have got uh, over a thousand miles more range, so I don't know. <laughs> I really don't, but yeah, for some reason they come out with like the DC at seventy one and seventy two, uh, which are yeah. Uh, I think they did conversions, so yeah, they just put the CFM engines on it. But they didn't. Uh, they didn't actually. Douglas didn't actually produce them. The last the last DC was produced in nineteen seventy three or nineteen seventy two or something like that. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'm still Norwich Airways now. There's the DC eight seventy one is still in production. And I'm only in the 21st century, for Christ's sake, so... I don't know. <laughs> That's what they've decided to do, uh, yeah, so uh, people can get sort of, sort of, uh, the converted versions. Uh, I guess then, uh, so, uh, yeah, let's, um... Let's just have a look at our profitability, uh, not, no, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I meant the route, so, uh, yeah, I just want to check that, uh, yeah, I haven't actually got uh, any, uh, 1.29s on here, because I have that sometimes. Uh, yeah, all of our routes are really, really profitable, look at this. Yeah, this is the trouble I was having before. Those T-104s, they have pretty much no capacity at all. <laughs> yeah, look at this. 100%, 100%, 100%. All of my routes have 100% capacity. Look at this. Look at this. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hang on, let me just uh, have a look uh, for some... Uh, yeah, 0.29s. Whoa, there's quite a few here. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just uh, sort this out. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, New York to Memphis, yeah, I think that was one that I set up uh, during uh, the time lapse uh, of our last episode. Right, I'm just uh, uh, make that. And it costs slightly more, but it's at 130, which is uh, how I like it. <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, I'll just come off with that. Uh, what else is there? Uh, am I at the top? Oh, no, I'm at the bottom. Uh, so we've got uh, New York to Phoenix, another one I set up in the time lapse. Oh uh, yeah, the ones at the bottom, they'll be the ones I set up in the time lapse, because uh, yeah. And they'll be uh, the most recent routes uh, that I've done. Uh, oh, damn it. Damn you! I can't get a uh, five or zero. Never mind. Me at five hundred forty-eight dollars. Uh, see if I care. <laughs> oh, wrong one. I'm gonna go back. Let's go from the top then. And that we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, whoa! I managed to do it pretty good there. A uh, nuke to Washington. Well, uh, that's in fact our first seven two seven route. And sorry, I swore on screen then. <laughs> Unintentionally. Yeah, I just uh, use that finger. Um. Right, I'll just uh, yeah bump that up a bit. Uh, not the X! Uh, yeah, keep on doing that. Um, uh, uh, New York to Charlotte, that's another uh, one. Oh, that was our first route we did in the time house. <laughs> Why do I keep on saying this? There's really no point in doing that. Okay, 283, because I can't do a 5 or 0. Let me just go back. And then, yeah, I uh, probably will have to do this offline once we get a bunch more long haul routes, because, uh, yeah, that's going to take quite a while. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. They are all at 1.30. Uh, yeah, I've uh, completely I've got them uh, the way I wanted them, so yeah, or they, the satisfaction is quite high. Um, uh, yeah, is it is it these seven two seven? Yeah, the seven two sevens and the um, the DC eight sixty twos are yeah the highest uh, satisfaction at the moment. Uh, sort of the uh, the older DC eights. Uh, yeah, uh, aren't as much. In fact, what I could do is because I got the unused uh, DC eights, I can actually uh, um, inaugurate them uh, onto these uh, routes here. Because uh, yeah, how many do I have? I have five well, seven. So yeah. And uh, Los Angeles to New York, Chicago, Atlanta, Houston, Dallas, Mexico City, and San Francisco can all be replaced uh, with uh, the newer there, uh, the newer uh, versions of that uh, that I have, uh, yeah, which I've uh, sold off. So, uh, yeah, we can uh, actually replace that. So, uh, yeah, what is uh, the uh, the first route? In fact, look, have a look at it on here. 
Uh, so yeah, these are the oldest planes. Uh, how old are these ones? Uh, they are... Um, ooh, ooh, okay. Um, yeah, they are... In fact, they are not much older. No, younger, sorry. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We will just uh, inaugurate them anyway. So what are the first ones? New York, Chicago, Atlanta from LA. I keep on forgetting uh, that, yeah, n uh, <laughs> that LA is our base. Uh, yeah. Uh, that is where we're based at. And, uh, yeah, I, New York is just a hub. I keep on thinking that we're actually, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the hub is actually, um, in New York. Uh, how much older are these? Uh, they are about two years older. Oh, uh, yeah, okay then. <laughs> They'll last slightly longer than those ones would have done, but, uh, yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, yeah, I'll just, um, uh, replace these. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll we'll do that one, because uh, that one is just uh, the one that we just phased out. I'm going to organise then, uh, them, sorry, by uh, how old they are. Uh, so, uh, yeah, where else was it? It was uh, Atlanta, I think, where the next one was. Uh, so, yeah, I just, uh, yeah, <laughs> want to make sure it's actually the oldest ones, because, uh, yeah, I um, want to uh, make sure that there isn't just, like, a random plane, which is, uh, yeah, uh, the oldest plane on the network is about, yeah, <laughs> two years older than everything else. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, that's the first one uh, to go, so. Oh, uh, yeah, right, what are the next ones uh, we have to phase out? Uh, yeah, uh, Houston, Dallas, and Mexico City. Uh, so, right, Houston. And we're going, I think after this, uh, yeah, I'll probably just uh, end the episode here. Well, actually, I could, yeah, I could sell them off and uh, get some more DC-8 um, uh, 62s, and I can uh, set up rates with them uh, next episode. That one is, in fact, 17 years old. Uh, yeah, these are uh, the uh, the newer ones that I have. Uh, where was it? I was Houston, was it Dallas, and then Mexico City? <laughs> It was Mexico City, or in fact, I've got the three there, so what's it? Dallas, Mexico City, San Francisco, yeah, there we go. <laughs> just checking, just checking, so. Alright, that one, is it that one? Uh, no, it'll be that one. Let's go, the bottom two now. Uh, so yeah, Mexico City, uh, down here, if I can get to it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, well, this is not miles away from uh, Los Angeles, so I can just uh, get back onto there, right there. Oh, Mexico City. Uh, right, just come off of you, uh, so I'll put that one in, and uh, is that 17 years old? Uh, oh no, 16 uh, and 10 months, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter, at least it's older than that one was. Uh, so, uh, younger, sorry, than that one was. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, put uh, the last one uh, in from San Francisco, and we can just uh, sell uh, these ones off. Uh, there we go! Uh, so uh, yeah, let's just uh, get those in. Oh, but they'll be 16 and 10 months, because uh, yeah, those were the last two uh, which were on the network, so uh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, Alright, yeah, let's sell these off then. I'll go from uh, the uh, the oldest one. Uh, the youngest one, sorry. I keep on saying oldest. <laughs> yeah, because then you can, I can sell the plane and then uh, the ones which are um, l have less lifespan on them. Like that. Uh, just like that, I can sell them all in one. So that is all them gone. Uh, I now have a bunch of money. So yeah, let's get a bunch of planes, shall we? <laughs> We're going to be going all over Europe. We'll probably be able to go to Asia, probably. Um, I don't know. We'll be able to, uh, to go to a bunch of places. So yeah, I'll just get as many as I can. <laughs> Yeah, I'll go on a massive spending spree of the uh, DC-8s, and, uh, yeah. And I'll, uh, yeah, be able to, uh, to set them up uh, uh, with our roots next episode. So what can I get? I can get a uh, 7, so... <laughs> Not a massive spending spree, uh, yeah. Uh, as, uh, as uh, yeah, in plain terms, but, uh, yeah, as in uh, uh, monetary terms, and it is a pr uh, quite big. So, yeah, that is uh, pretty much uh, this episode. Phasing a bunch of stuff out, phasing a bunch of... St uh, yeah. <laughs> Fading planes in and out, that's essentially this episode. Uh, yeah, nothing much more, but yeah, we will be, um... Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have inaug inaugurated the other uh, DCA-62, and uh, yeah, we'll be able to uh, get um, uh, the uh, more DCA-62 routes uh, uh, next episode. So thanks very much for watching, and thank you for taking time out of your day. If you choose my channel, I'll click on this video, and hopefully watch this for length. Hope you did, yeah, like I said. It's going to be really, really exciting when we get to uh, the, um... in the 1970s, because, uh, yeah, the DC-10 and the 747 will be uh, pushing us uh, into a proper profitability. <laughs> I should think that they'll probably push us over the 100 million mark. Because, uh, uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, we will probably be able to get it uh, before then, but, uh, yeah, it will push us uh, a lot further past that. So, again, thank you very much for watching. That's it in the next video. You should start to that one as well. Bye!